Facebook sent a doctor on a secret mission to get your data from hospitals? <gasps> How shocking! How shocking! Facebook, you wouldn't do that! It's amazing how many people still believe that Facebook is actually this private company, corporation, Zuckerberg. It's, it's NSA, it's government, and it's rather fascinating because it's been known how unbelievably creepy is Facebook for many, many years. And now people are getting outraged because Facebook is selling their data, giving away their data, because Facebook is spying on everybody. How could people not know at this point? Okay, apparently they don't. But will they get outraged that Facebook sent a doctor on a secret mission to get your data from hospitals? Why? If they do get outraged, why? Because all of the data that you are putting on Facebook, all of that data that uh, your doctor collects, everything that you tell your doctor, everything that goes on in the doctor's office, everything that goes on in hospitals, it's inputted into a computer, and all of that data is being collected and stored. So it seems a little odd to me that people could get outraged at this point because we've heard Americans over and over and over again say, well, I'm glad they're doing this because I feel safer. And they're doing this for our security. Or, how about this? Well, I don't care what their information they're collecting on me. I'm not doing anything wrong. So, all of those Americans, they should not ever utter a word about anything that is taking place at this point. Those of you who have been outraged, get outraged at those Americans who haven't cared about any of this. But that surveillance state that manifested rather rapidly after 9-11-2001, well, now the news is getting really, really tight around our privacy necks. I was, I was holding on to my throat. Um, yeah, it is. Oh, police facial recognition smartphones will be used to create secret watch lists. A company called DataWorks. Works Plus. That company has developed a portable facial and fingerprint biometric scanner for law enforcement. Data Works claims police can identify anyone regardless of factors such as hair color, glasses, image background. So the next time you see a cop pointing their smartphone at someone, don't be fooled. They are probably using evolution. That's the portable facial and fingerprint biometric scanner. They're probably using evolution to identify them without a warrant. That's right. Warrants. No. Those were the days gone by. New surveillance camera software allows law enforcement to identify groups of people in real time and individuals. Does this remind you? of anything like uh, that TV show Person of Interest. It's up and running, guys. That's why you see cameras all over the place. So imagine walking down a public street on your way to dinner with your family. Now imagine police knowing exactly who you are and the names and ages of every family member. Oh, but wait, it gets worse. Once you have entered the restaurant, police can use Project Greenlight hmm, or other police cam share programs to spy on you while you are eating. What's Project Greenlight? Business is forced to pay the police to let them spy on customers. 
This is not just happening in Detroit. But last year, police in Detroit, Michigan, asked businesses to install real-time surveillance cameras that are connected to police departments. But the mayor in Detroit wants to make this mandatory. But, oh, wait a second. They, in Detroit, have said that if you don't get your camera in your business, you can kiss goodbye. Uh, the police responding to any 911 call. Wow. Now that is forcing businesses' hands, huh? Individuals' hands. We pay taxes. And we pay the salaries of those police. And because we pay those taxes, we get to have them come when we dial 911, right? But forget about that now. You got to get that camera. Oh, and you have to pay the cost of installing it. Oh, right. And you have to pay the monthly cloud fee, that cloud storage. Oh, remember that cloud. That cloud. Um, Amazon is a provider. Microsoft is a provider. Google is a provider of cloud. Do you think that these so-called businesses that are providing these services and they're using the cloud storage, do you think that what's stored in that cloud, law enforcement, government officials, are not going to be able to get easy access? Of course they will. And in fact, Amazon was contracted to provide cloud services to the Pentagon. And now I think there's a war between Trump and Amazon and the Pentagon, I think, had to pull out of just using Amazon. So they're going to be using other providers. Does it matter? Does it really matter that our Pentagon, all right, will use Google too? Amazon, Google, uh, Microsoft, government. No difference. They truly are putting us into a global surveillance world. And <clears throat> it's, you know, look, when you... When you want to have your freedom and privacy and you see it all being yanked away it is very upsetting. What is this ComTech? Detroit officials have been using this communications and technology center to spy on everyone since 2013. This is up and operating. Uh, here, ComTech's most prominent feature is a 20 by 50 foot video wall complete with 54 70 inch individual monitors capable of displaying weather and GPS mapping, television and cable stations, live video from road department and Michigan Department of Transportation cameras at intersections throughout the county, siren alerts, computer displays and video conferencing. However, this is CCTV. This is just like what England has and London has and, and the UK has. They will be able, and that is why Detroit wants every business to have a camera. Uh, not only businesses, but they want to expand to residential buildings. So, Every business, restaurant, shopping, uh, departments, a anything, gas stations, all will have cameras. 
as well as residential buildings. And the police will have real-time access to every place you go, every step you take. This is the world that has manifested. Fast food restaurants to use facial recognition to spy on customers. Oh my God. <gasps> what? Parking meters? Spying smart parking meters? With cameras? Wow. Hotel and motel staff spy on how much you drink and how you dress. Mm. No warrant needed for police departments to share your license plate data. Warrants are something of the past. Rental cars to use facial recognition to spy on your vacation. Electric ride share scooters. They spy on your face and much more. You can click on the link below if you want to get more information about all of this. But there are more companies. Any visions, facial recognition cameras are being installed in smart cities everywhere. Real-time access. Real-time footage. Surveillance cameras made by China. Wow. Okay. Hmm. Well, we are entering into this kumbaya global world where we're all citizens, no borders, no borders, and one world government. So it doesn't matter, China, United States, Russia, UK, Israel, whoever has access to these cameras. And you, you can bet that China manufacturing a lot of the surveillance cameras that, go, that are going up all over the United States. You think China doesn't have a backdoor into those surveillance cameras? If you, if you think they don't, then you're very naive. It's a new world order. We're living already. Raleigh police are asking Google to provide user data for all people near crime scenes. Jesus. Wow. Well, you aren't doing anything wrong, right? So, you shouldn't be upset about this. The police are collecting a whole lot of information on innocent people. And here's some crazy stuff. Scientists are implanting tiny human brains into rats. That's right. A Stanford University bioethicist says, as the lab rats become more human-like, they may one day be entitled to some kind of respect. Oh, they're not entitled to it now? Uh, human beings believing that they are superior over every species. Oh, but put a human brain into a rat, then you'll get respect. But you won't get respect. You'll just be a useless, eating, human-brained rat. DARPA plans to use genetic modification to turn plants into environmental spies. Yeah. You know those genetically modified trees? Genetically modified plants spying on you. They do have insects flying around already spying on us. Do you not know that? Um, check it out. China is using artificial intelligence and facial recognition to find jay workers, a jay walkers via a text. Ooh. Well, with all of those cameras all over the place, you can't get away with anything. Jaywalk? And then you'll get a how of the smartphones or iPhone sound. You get a ping when you get a text, and you look at it. $15, but it won't be 15 jaywalking. We have people getting arrested for jaywalking here in our country. But no, I included this just so that you know. 
absolutely nothing will you be able to do. It will not go undetected. Nada. Nothing. And you will be fined immediately. Oh, that's that. Beautiful. Uh, 5G. Internet of Things world. Everything has a sensor on it. Everything. All data will be able to be collected in real time. What's that? What's that on that tooth? It's a sense. It's a sensor. It's a tooth mounted sensor. It will track what you eat. Isn't that good? It monitors everything you eat in real time digitally, digitally, uh, through a tooth mounted sensor. Digitally. Thank you, Carol. Um, yeah, it's a small device made of three layers and it will track everything you consume, including glucose, salt, and alcohol. It would then transmit the data wirelessly to a mobile device. Who will have that device? So, we are entering a world where as we live now, we're slaves. We're, we are absolute slaves to the government. <clears throat> we're now entering a world where <laughs> all of that information collected in real time, every bit of information on you, everything, every aspect of your life will be controlled. You have health insurance. You've got everything that you're consuming tracked and monitored. You consume um, a real big hamburger and a beer. All of the information, everything's connected now. That information goes to your health insurance company and then you will digitally digitally find out that your premiums are going up because of what you ate. You think that can't happen? It will happen. It will happen. The mind reading robot created to read human emotion and groundbreaking project. Machines reading human emotion. And the U.S. military is making lasers that can create voices out of thin air. Huh. Well, they can, can already do that. They're creating voices in people's heads with the technology that they have. Talk to any targeted individual and they will tell you, those who are hearing these voices that they know are coming from technology not because they're schizophrenic. They're just being made crazy by our fabulously wonderful, superior, e exceptional, look, so moral, so great is the USA. Not. So Boeing has unveiled an amazing, slightly terrifying new electromagnetic pulse weapon. New? No. They've had this. But CHAMP, Counter Electronics High Powered Microwave Advanced Missile Project. It is a one missile flying blackout. Woof! Yes. There are so many ways to hit that grid and black you out with one electromagnetic pulse. We can all have our electricity turned off. Goodbye. We better be good. We better be really, really good. Otherwise, 
we may find that we can't get on Facebook. Facebook violates privacy by storing all call and text data of users. You knew that, right? Call and text data of users. Everything you say, everything you write, is being collected and stored. Microsoft warns customers watch what you say when using our products or else or else we will turn off your products. That's right. And yeah, it even unbelievably extends to this code of conduct. Yes, offensive language. Offensive language. Watch what you say. Don't curse, otherwise you may have your computers turned off. Amazon now wants to photograph your home every time they make a delivery. Amazon got Alexa in your home recording everything that you are saying. Samsung has those TVs that are watching and recording everything you do and say. What is this world turning into? When you get enough information that allows you to see the big picture, the big picture, it is horrifying. U.S. tourists will be required to turn over their social media history. Well, I have already heard from an awful lot of my subscribers who don't live in this country who not only will they not visit America anymore, but they are rather angry at Americans who don't seem to care about anything. See, there's an awful lot of people who don't live in this country who feel that America goes down. Stop saying it's America. The United States goes down. Everyone goes down. Well, I don't think I have to inform you to clarify for you, those of you who are living in other countries. The United States went down. It went down. And trust me, there's an awful lot of Americans who are just as upset with Americans like you are. Freedom is gone. And it is true. So if you want to know all of the information that Facebook and Google are collecting on you, all right, this guy, well, he found out that Google had collected 5.5 gigabytes of data on him which is equivalent to some 3 million Microsoft Word documents. Facebook, meanwhile, collected only 600 megabytes, which is equivalent to roughly 400,000 documents. Whoa, man, that's a lot of data on one person. Well, that's why they've got fusion centers all over the place, and that's why they have huge storage centers operating. Can't remember the name of the one in Utah, but with cloud storage, woo-wee, they sure can. They sure can store. Uh, based on what I have researched, an infinite amount of information on every on every human being on the planet. This is quite an amazing time that we are living. But yeah, if you don't know, they are collecting everything, everything, every your chat logs, search history, um, and if you go through these tweets, you will see Google stores your location, uh, 
and this is the map. This is every place this guy has been in the last 12 months in Ireland. All the red dots. Google has it. And every, if there ever comes a time they need it, they got it. They can bring down, they could bring down the Pope. No way, the Pope is not an innocent human being, you know, a saint or any of that. All right, they can bring down the most saintly human being who has never, ever done anything wrong if they so choose to. Your search history. You think you're deleting things on your computer? <laughs> yeah, all of these um, people promoting these companies. So oh, encrypt your information and you know uh, get some privacy with this you know software. And um, I've seen articles how you know this is what you should do to delete you know the information from Google. There ain't no deletion. It's stored. It's it's been collected. It's stored. That's it. This is the world that has manifested. This is the world that they have spent trillions of dollars to build. It ain't going away. And there is no, there is no possible way to reverse any of this. They, Google stores information on every app, every extension you use, how often you use them, when you use them, where you use them, who you use them with. Your YouTube history. Google has stored it all. They know whether you're Jewish, whether you're Muslim, whether every, every bit of information, whether you're a parent, So you can take a look at this. It's, look, your calendar, your hangout sessions, your location history, the music you listen to, the books you read, every friggin' thing. Wow, it's just a wow. But U.S. Air Force to begin fighter-mounted laser testing this summer. Yes, their lasers with their jets while they have lasers on drones. And do not think that those drones won't be flying around your neighborhood. And should you do something wrong and it's picked up on one of those CCTV cameras, a drone will come by and you'll get hit with a laser that, depending on your infraction, you will be paralyzed or killed on the spot. Now, an awful lot of people who have done very little research or those still willfully ignorant who refuse to do any research will just be thinking, oh my God, I cannot believe this woman. She's just so crazy. She obviously is off her meds. Do some more research. It is a very, very dark world that has already taken place, has already shaped itself, has already manifested. It's only getting darker. All links are below.